Well today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We were challenged by Practical Modern Homestead, make sure you head over to their channel to check them out, to do a scarecrow challenge. So what we did, we collected up a few things that we had just laying around the place or some old junk stuff. Then the kids came up with an idea of what they wanted the scarecrow to look like. We asked each of them what they think we should do and how we should do it. And we really wanted to have it to where the kids were the ones putting the scarecrow together with their own ideas. And also with the help of Clover, of course. Crazy goat. The kids decided that they wanted the scarecrow to look like our drawing the drawing that Caitlin did for our channel and so here is a sneak peek at the new picture that Caitlin has made you'll be seeing that in a later video but we had a look around and they collected up the stuff that we had that would look like our little character and Tommy he decided he wanted to help out with doing the shoes so we just had an old a couple of old plastic cups and he took his sweet time just colouring in uh, the green shoes so it would match the picture and he was very proud of doing that job. Joe decided he wanted to do the hair for our scarecrow and since Caitlin's picture had long red hair we just happened to have some old red yarn laying around so he went ahead and he cut them in all different lengths we just let him have at it and he was he was concentrating very hard in getting that done he said he wanted to get that just right he did a great job of that then Danny he went ahead and put the arms of the scarecrow through the shirt that we had first before we started putting it together just so it would be easier to put it on Sean went ahead and put the legs into the jeans that we had. Again, these were just some old jeans that the kids had grown out of. So we figured, hey, why not use them for our scarecrow? And again, since Caitlin's picture has got blue jeans on, it, we thought it would match up absolutely perfect. So we got them in there first before we put it all together. Because the kids said that would be a lot easier. And they were right. <laughs> Little Will was the one that came up with the idea of how we should put the Scarecrow's body together with the clothes. So I let him go ahead and screw that all together with a little bit of help. But he was the one that got it all fit together. And a couple of the older kids helped out with a few ideas of where we should place stuff to. Since Caitlin was the one that designed the drawing, she really wanted to do the Scarecrow's face because she said she wanted to make sure it matched up, but also that it was a really happy Scarecrow too. A happy Scarecrow for our happy little homestead. Once we had the body all put together, it was then on to finishing up the head and getting it all fitted together. What did we make? Scarecrow! That's our scarecrow, Tom! And you guys made, made it! You did such a good job! <laughs> awesome, guys! <sighs> Yay! Good job, guys! <laughs> no? <laughs> Ozzy agrees. <laughs> yep, Ozzy says y'all did an amazing job! This way! <laughs> Caitlin, there you go. Your picture has come to life with a scarecrow. <laughs> so there we have it, guys. Caitlin's drawing has now come to life as a scarecrow, and it was all made with stuff we just had laying around and recycled. You like her, huh? Yeah. So now we just need to get our garden finished and she'll be looking over our garden keeping it safe. 
this was our very first collaboration and oh what a fun one it was to do. We just want to say a huge thank you to Practical Modern Homestead for setting this challenge. We really did have a great time in doing this and now we have a lovely scarecrow for our garden. Now we want to tag three other channels to do the scarecrow collaboration. So we're going to challenge CJ Grace, Bayou Homestead and Quito Country Homestead to do the scarecrow challenge. And we hope you guys have as much fun as we did in making a scarecrow. Alright guys, it's bye from us and bye from our new scarecrow. We'll see you next time.